Hi, my dears, welcome back. Okay, so today's topic is gonna be what blessings are coming into your life in September 2020. So I would like to say thank you to all of you who already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it a lot and it made my day today. And um, for those who are new, please subscribe so you keep updated because I will be posting more and more videos. Okay, so let's have a look at these piles. P please meditate or feel free to pause the video for a little bit and connect with your mind and body. And please choose any pile which you feel most drawn to and we can start, okay? So we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three and pile number four. So I move these aside. All right. Hi, Pal One. Welcome to your reading. Let's have a look what we have here for you today. Actually, we can hold it like this and we can start like that. So we have soulmate, finances and career, romantic feelings, you deserve love. Okay, my dear, so what I see right away is that uh, your blessings in September 2020 for sure will not be only finances and career, but also you will meet your soulmate or you have probably met your soulmate, but you will deepen the connection, okay, my dear, because you deserve love and uh, someone will express their romantic feelings to you. That's beautiful. And also I see regarding finance and career, Uh, there will be some blessing coming into your life. So let's have a look what we have here further. We have sec second chakra Archangel Ariel. We have Yin Yang. We have Caring Connections. We have fourth chakra. We have Angel of Strength. We have Strategy. We have the thinking woman, adjustment possibilities, contract, storm warning, happy family. Okay, so we can start with this. Otherwise, we will have too many cards on table and I will not be able to see all of them. So what I see right away is that for sure you will deepen the connection with your soulmate or for those of you who are single soon you will meet your soulmate this is the card and double confirmation of a soulmate connection that's really wonderful and it's also uh, next to the card caring connections and what i can say about this card this card says everything about caring about love about being gentle and kind So this energy is coming towards you. This month, September 2020, will be very, very romantic for you, my dear. And I see also that uh, this card, Happy Family, is a wonderful card. It's in Tarot. It's a Ten of Cups card. So you will meet your soulmate and... Uh, It will be so strong and deep that uh, this might lead to later on to marriage, but uh, or maybe your connection will deepen, you know, because here you also have a soulmate card. So this is uh, this pile is about soulmates. And uh, angels are also sending you some messages regarding contract. So you, some of you might be signing some kind of contract, buying a new house, buying a new flat or moving or buying a car or maybe getting a new job contract, you know, this or maybe getting married <laughs> for some of you. Okay, then I see here angel of strength. 
for some of you, you will have to, you know, you have been very strong in the past and you have uh, put a lot of effort into your finances and career and now everything, you, those blessings are coming towards you. Although we have a storm warning here, you will feel like, you know, that something is um, chaotic or, uh, or storm is coming, you know, in, in your finances or, or in your life. But actually, uh, angels are asking you to set some type of a strategy and to, you know, think clearly what you want to achieve in your career and go for it. Just go for it. And uh, this storm warning, it's just a warning. And... Uh, um, you should decide the, the way you feel your intuition, what it's telling you. And also you should think about all possibilities, thinking woman. So you will be thinking a lot and I see some rewards and potential in your connection and rewards in finance are coming towards you for sure. We have a second chakra, Archangel Ariel, and we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So pay attention to numbers 36 and 38. Okay, I have to get my booklet just a second. All right, I'm back. Let's read for you what those cards mean because I want to be really detailed I want to give you proper information so we have number 36 second chakra intimacy and creativity the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel she sends a bright orange energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy when this card appears upright it's urging you to get creative let yourself reach on to unexplored areas of self-expression and the new project that may have a more creative approach this is also time when the energies of closeness with one another nurturing yourself can flow more freely you see beautiful you can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way so nurture yourself be ready to receive the affection and uh, of these resonant souls around you so the angels are asking you to be creative, to take care of yourself a little bit and, you know, to have this courage to open up for your soulmate, my dear, because the caring connection is, it means, uh, you know, that love is coming your way and you should get ready for it. So open up your second chakra in September. Beautiful, beautiful connection will come into your life. Or if, if you know already this person, it will deepen. Okay. Let's have a look for uh, what this card means. Fourth Chakra Archangel Raphael. I read it for you. So we have love, compassion and self-acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. Okay, so the angels are asking you to open up your you know, the center for love, you know, to get ready to receive this love. So we have two indicators here that love is coming. You have to open up second chakra and fourth chakra, heal them, you know, just uh, get ready, get ready because you deserve love, my dear. And for, for love to come into your life, you have to be ready. So please meditate a little bit and, you know, just... Uh, 
sorry. Meditate a little bit and just uh, heal your heart from the previous broken heart. You know, we all went through these tough times when we, we thought that we met the right person and it was not the right one. But uh, now it's the time to heal your heart, to, to, to work on yourself, to be a happy person and to find positive aspects of life, to be optimistic because I see beautiful cards in your future. And also these cards, adjustment possibilities, could mean also that you will be moving somewhere else. You will be adjusting you know, yourself, your standards, to something, to some other new situation. So you will not be in the same place as before. And I see that these happy family times are on the horizon. They are coming. So these are really beautiful cards. And um, therefore, please get ready for love. And regarding finances and career, I see something will be signed some kind of a contract or something but you have to think through it you have to think about it you have to you know um, strategize a little bit in order to be successful but maybe you also will get a new job or you will get two offers and you will have to decide which one to take so let's see but i see really beautiful changes coming into your life all right so let's move on what we have here, let's see. Okay, we have purification, purity, release, miracles, illumination, going forward, forgiveness and community. Okay, so the angels are telling you that the blessings coming your way are really coming you know what i mentioned before but in order for the changes to come into your life you have to clear your energy clear your you know everything around you just like if you if you are meeting very toxic people or some you know you have toxic friends don't worry and just cut them off because uh, you need to be in the highest energy of all to receive this love coming towards you and i see that uh, you have to release and forgive to people who broke your heart just forgive them and move on accept it my dear because then the love will come into your life also i see i see that you as i said this is a beautiful synchronicity purification and purity you should you know, think of your inner peace. Think of your inner peace and meditate and heal your heart. Heal, you know, your feelings. And I know sometimes it's not easy, but we have to forgive people. Otherwise, we will keep it, keep this, this bad energy in our heart and we will become bitter in in few years time. And this will stay there in the heart. And that's, that's not what we want. You know, we have to work on ourselves all the time. And when, when you move forward, this beautiful card, move forward, then miracles will take place, as I said. And this reading is reading for September 2020, my dear. So please listen and do what I say community so the angels are telling you to go out and to enjoy yourself and to meet more people and to you know just to i can read this part for you as well community what what they want to say to you i have this inner feeling that they want to tell you the whole story so community okay Support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supported. Give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. 
Your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family ties are friends who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and your soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It's a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, stranding strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. That's beautiful. That's what I said. You should go out with your friends. You know, it's not only family members who can help you. It's also friends. You can enjoy and spend a lot of time with them as well. Okay. And let's read one more card. And that is uh, Illumination. And this card says, the upward, this one, spiraling mist rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. My dear, you have a lot of, a lot of, you know, guard, guarding angels and friends who are going to help you to release all these, you know, burdens, what you were taking with you everywhere into new relationships. But please ask for, sp ask spirit for help. They will help you. Ask friends for help. They will also help you and purify, detoxify, you know, and don't meet toxic people. And then all these beautiful blessings will come into your life. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. And please, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. And or comment or like or whatever if it resonated, please. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Hi group two, welcome to your reading. Today's topic is what blessings are coming into your life in September 2020. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, we have playfulness. We have release your ex. We have give your relationship a chance. We have community. We have angel of love, all tied up, action, door to value journey angel of balance okay so what i see from these cards is that some of you are still thinking about your exes please release them they are not doing you well don't forget don't think about them because you will stay in the same energy and you will not move on you will be all tied up all the time and this is what we don't want all tied up we want action we want door to value we want you see this is waiting for you in september if you take action money is flowing to you some kind of offer or you know you will get some extra money or something i see here abundance that's beautiful but i also see i also see that you will be balancing out your life, you know, that you will be enjoying yourself more, relaxing and traveling. Journey is waiting for you. So you might be planning a trip or something. This is coming towards you. I'm telling you, journey, some type of a journey. And angels are telling you to, you know, have more friends and search for help from others to enjoy yourself, to go out with them, maybe to go on a trip with your friends. I also see angel of love here. So you, once you release your ex, you will start preparing for new love to come into your life, my dear. I know that some of you, you know, that are thinking that 
maybe this person who you are thinking about will come back and the angels are telling you who you those people who who really feel it in in your heart that yes he will come back and there was some type of a really deep connection then then angels are telling you give your relationship a chance that's for some of you but for the others who are single angels are telling you the blessing will be playfulness you will be enjoying yourself in september you will be in a very good mood high high vibration you will be you know traveling you will be going out you will be maybe uh, uh, finding a new hobby or going into the nature or you know whatever you will be really enjoying yourself i already see you like you are going out a lot in september you know like uh, not just sitting at home and watching TV, but really enjoying yourself, forgetting about all the stress and worries, what is what you have, what is following you. Maybe at work you are really stressed and the, the angels are telling you, yes, money is coming towards you, something is coming towards you, but you have to relax, my dear. So this is a special call, call for people who uh, have a lot of stress, you know, that you have been very busy this year and you needed some type of a break or something. This is your blessing. You will be enjoying yourself a lot. You will be traveling. You, you see here the pyramids as well. So I see traveling, enjoying. Okay, action, a lot of action in September. Okay, so what else do we have? We have Voyage. Look at that. Another card which is confirming it. We have Simplicity. We have Pleasure. We have Patience. And we have Healing Chaos. Yes, yes. This is your blessing. You will be traveling. You will simplify your life. You will not be in a hurry. You will enjoy yourself in September. Maybe you will travel overseas finally. At this time it's not that easy. But I see that something. You will go somewhere to the seaside. I see a lot of water and pleasure. You see you will be enjoying yourself. I, I see it. Maybe going you know, hiking with your friends. And the angels are asking you to be patient if you want another blessing or something, you know, regarding love. The angels are telling you to be patient and to heal yourself first. Because I see, I see this love coming towards you. It's already here, angel of love. It's telling you that the love will come to you. But first, you should, this, this is going to be your blessing. September's blessing will be traveling, enjoying yourself, you know, having some fun, a lot of pleasure uh, and simplifying your life. That's wonderful. Take it easy, my dear. I, I read this card for you, simplicity. I'm really curious what the angels want to say in details okay so to find a sacred simplicity and have a clarity in your life do only what matters release everything else simplify your life scan all areas and clear both internal and external clutter rest rejuvenate and only participate in what is truly important to you relinquish everything else do not delay do it now when your life is cluttered with objects relationships time constraints emotions there is no room for spirit there is too much static and too much stuff to connect to your soul the smallest amount of clutter clearing can make the biggest difference wonderful so much synchronicity cannot believe it really you have to you know simplify your life Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love this pile. Yes. And pleasure. What this card is telling you. Pleasure. And maybe you should, you know, listen to the meaning of the card again. Because it's so wonderful. If, if you want to listen to it again, do it. Okay. Pleasure card. Save your life, each and every part of it. Take pleasure in slowing down and experiencing each of your senses. 
Taste your food with full gusto. Inhale the scent of the world around you. Enjoy the colors, textures of your life. This is truly a stop and smell the roses card. Embrace your sensuality. Move in a languid way. Let pleasure be your password into every intimate part of your life. Allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying each moment with verb. And a radiant energy with, will flow through you in all directions of your life. You have to enjoy yourself in September. Please, my dear, I see that you have been working hard and maybe in some other next few months you will again be very busy. Just take this time to rest in September and travel. Travel, enjoy, just, just breathe and rest and relax. Okay, my dear? So this is what I see in the cards for you. And uh, if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe. This I would appreciate it a lot. And also comment, like or share. Please, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye. Hi Palfrey, hello, welcome to your reading. Today's topic is what blessings are coming into your life in September 2020? Let's have a look what the angels want to tell you. Okay, so we have getting to know each other. We have worth waiting for. We have stay optimistic about your love life. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, we have keep an open mind, trust, and very soon, very soon something's gonna happen. Let's have a look. This reading is about September 2020. Door to spirit. We have cornucopia. We have man holding a heart. We have patience. We have the magician and the mirror. We have attachment. We have woman holding her heart. Anxiety, broken heart, man holding a coin. All right, my dear. So what I see, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so um, I can tell you right now that this pile is going to be about love. It's a love reading, yes. In September, the angels are telling you to be patient. But in September, something is going to manifest because you have been manifesting it for a long time. You have been patient for a long time. I see, I have to mention, I see that you are a little bit heartbroken and in anxiety right now. And you don't know what to do. You feel stuck. You are, you know, attached. You are attached to some, some energy, prison, uh, previous energy from your ex probably. And, you know, you are just... Uh, hoping that things will get better and maybe you are a little bit more spiritual right now but in September what I can tell you is that abundance is coming towards you my dear the wish fulfillment is coming towards you something like abundance of love of joy is coming into your life and I see this is you woman holding a heart you are ready to receive new love once you stop thinking about, you know, your ex. And then the man of your heart will come into your life. Look at that couple. 
this is a couple, this is a divine connection. In tarot it means king of cups and queen of cups. It's a divine connection and you both are going to meet in September. Or maybe he will text you or contact you and it will. this is a blessing for you, this pile. I see that once you, you know, stop being in this low energy, anxiety, unhappiness and uh, negativity and not seeing uh, the light of, at the end of the tunnel, I'm telling you love will come towards you. Also, the angels are telling you worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine timing. You have to stay optimistic about your love life. And then you will have, you know, heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your new love. And you should, the angels are telling you, you should trust, trust them, please. But you should keep an open mind because this new person... This new person might be a little bit different from you. He might come from a different country. He might look, you know, different, like culturally different. Or he might have a different type of energy in himself. Like when, you know, uh, you keep being in this type of energy, then you will meet this uh, type of a person. But once you, you know, uh, start thinking positively, optimistically, you will meet a happy person, very nurturing and very, you know, he might be quite wealthy. He has a coin holding a coin as well, this person. And... Uh, the angels are telling you very soon, my dear, very soon it's going to happen. Yes, September is going to be here very soon. So I'm um, telling you, just keep an open mind and, you know, just maybe you already know who I'm talking about. Maybe not. Maybe you have a secret admirer, but this person is coming into your life. This pile is about love. It's a love reading. Your blessing is going to be love. Okay. In September. I'm so happy for you. This is wonderful. So your love life is going to embrace. What else do we have? Okay. We have focus. We have love, we have delight, we have truth, we have happiness, enlightenment and change. You see, change is coming in September. Beautiful. Okay, and love is coming. You should just keep focused, you know, focus, focus on, on love in September, please. And you will meet your love, I'm sure. Okay, and what else do we see here? The truth will come out. Some type of a truth will be to to told to you. You will feel, en you know, enlightenment. Maybe you will... Let's read this card for you. Enlightenment. What does it mean? I mean, what did the angels want to tell you in more details? Let's have a look. Enlightenment occurs when one steps out steps out of the confines of an ordinary definition of self and expands into a greater awareness of the self within the universe. You are now reaching into the invisible realm of spirit and connecting with what you cannot see. Forces beneath the surface are supporting you on your journey. Have faith in yourself. You are so much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience that there is a plan unfolding. The sky is the limit. This card represents enlightenment and signals that you are entering into a time of expansive transformation in a luminous and remarkable way. Trust that the changes ahead are for the greater good and for most certainly they are. Yes, yes, this, this is going to be a transformational month for you. Change is coming. Enlightenment, you see? So much synchronicity. Oh, sorry. Yes, love is in coming into your life, my dear. Happiness is on its way. Love is on its way. You just keep focused on what you want. All right. And one more card. I'm going to read a delight card for you. Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering. Host a party. This one here. Host a party. 
The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious and buckle down and get to work. This is the time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun, lots of fun, especially in community with others. You see, once you go out and be, raise your vibration, forget about your ex, release him or whatever has broken, whoever has broken your heart. I see here the attachment anxiety, but once you go out, you start feeling happy, the love will come into your life and changes are gonna happen very fast, just like that. Okay, just trust the process, my dear, okay? So I think we went through everything. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully you liked the message from the angels and if yes, please, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. This would help my channel a lot and thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, Pal4. Welcome. So today's topic is what blessings are coming into your life in September 2020. Okay, let's have a look what we have here, what the messages are from angels. We have forgiving and learning. We have it's safe for you to love, express your love, let go of control issues, make the effort. Okay, and we have we have the sun, blossoming abundance, woman holding a coin, door to personal healing and happiness, seven chakra, Archangel Uriel, victory. Okay, so the blessing coming into your life from these cards, what I can see is gonna be more like I feel uh, in the field of career, career finances, Yes, a lot of abundance is coming into your life, victory, you know, the sun, new start in the project, new job, new opportunity, um, a lot of, uh, you know, could be for some of you, new, some, some more money, you know, door to personal healing and happiness, or maybe if you, you know, some of you didn't feel well for some time, this could also mean your, your health is going to improve, but I see, I see victory. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful blessing. You will win the, the fight, what you were fighting for. Um, um, regarding love, I see that uh, for many of you, uh, you are happy in the relationship. You, maybe your partner will express, deepen his emotions and, you know, uh, he will make a lot more effort. This is going to be the blessing for you because uh, it says it's safe for you to love. So for many of you, uh, for many of you, the love is not the focus of this pile. If you don't resonate, please choose another pile. But I feel this is concerning the career and finances because we have woman holding a coin here. We have blossoming a abundance, the sun, and we have door to healing and happiness and victory. I have a strong feeling that something is going to happen in your career life, my dear. Something really positive. Let me see what we have here. We have opportunity. We have standstill. Leadership. Wisdom. Thriving. Diligence. Inner peace. Success. Success, second time, success, victory, fulfillment. 
my dear i'm so happy for you something please let me know in the comments but something is gonna happen like you know regarding leadership maybe you will become a manager or you know that uh, at work they will offer you better place and i see that uh, you have been waiting for this opportunity for a longer time you were working on it you made a lot of effort and you maybe you know um they don't feel fulfilled but now this wish come wish is coming true in september and i'm very happy for you so i see that you have put a lot of effort into this you see i i see that i see that you worked a lot you spent a lot of hours a lot of time on it on some type of a project or something you know like you will become a, you will get a better position, I have this feeling, because we have the card of leadership here as well. You will become a strong, strong leader, maybe entrepreneur, maybe, you know, something at work. I, I, I have a strong feeling. And you, you succeeded because you were making a lot of effort, but you kept, you know, being peaceful. Maybe there was a lot of stress or it took a while, but you never got like, you know, like negative or pessimistic about it you you kept your inner peace and you will be also very happy in september you know in this peaceful energy and also i see you know the sun is so wonderful the sun sunshine this is the creativity new project new start vitality uh, fun happiness joy this is a beautiful card all these cards are very positive my dear also, I see wisdom. Someone here is very, very clever and smart and you are using your knowledge in, in, at work and career and many people respect you and admire you and you will become a you know, big authority for them. So that's wonderful. I love it. And it's going to be a huge victory for you. Or maybe it could also mean, um, you know, not just work, but at school. Maybe you have been studying a lot and you have put a lot of effort into it. And now everything is, you know, fulfilling because you will get your degree or, you know, you will get a new job or perfect position. You will become a leader. I see these, these vibes here. A lot of abundance is coming your way, my dear. A lot of abundance. Okay, let me read two cards for you. Let me read the um, seven chakra that's about spirituality and thriving card, okay? So, let's have a look. What the angels want to tell you in a very detailed way. Okay. So, this this card with the giraffe looks like in Africa if you draw this card you are a survivor and not only do you survive but you use situations that others might find challenging yes you went through, through a lot I see that you you put a lot of effort into something mm -hmm. and not only do you survive but you use your situations that others might find challenging to thrive you expand when others shrink this may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather than be overcome by them you have a remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge you are strong others may find shelter in your energy and right now that's okay through giving to others you are in turn nourished this card may be urging you to step into the primal primordial powerful wild part of yourself doing this will increase your vitality and contribute to your overall well-being yes step into your power my dear everything is gonna work out i see that you have been waiting for this for a long time it's happening it's gonna happen it starts happening in september okay and let's read this card what the spirit wants to tell you so this card is about spiritual connections, intuition, inspiration. Please use your intuition. Okay, let's read it. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center. So your seventh energy center, seven chakra, is gonna be more 
powerful spirituality center, the crown chakra. This is located at the top of your head. This card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great and whether it is the presence of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open up open you to the Akashic records, the storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. Wonderful. Keep an open mind. Keep your, you know, crown chakra open and feel how the spirit wants to talk to you. Just open up, listen to your intuition, to, to your inner voice, inner guidance, and you will feel the spirit advising you what to do, my dear. But I see success and victory in finance and career for sure. And also regarding studies or whatever project or whatever regarding material things you have been working on, this is going to come true. Your wish is going to come true. You will be fulfilled. That's wonderful. You made a lot of effort. A lot of effort. I see that you are very smart. I see not lazy. No, no. You have your, you know, power and rules and um, disciplines and you just follow, you know, that you, you want to achieve this goal. I see it and your goal is here. So thank you very much. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. And if yes, please please subscribe. I would appreciate it a lot so I can post more videos for you. And um, okay, that's all I have for you today. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.